Hey Badminton community, it's Henry and Jeff bringing you another review on the Leaning Tectonic 7D. Why? Because it's just so hard to find information on leaning rackets out there. In all of our racket reviews, we assess rackets on five main metrics with a score out of 10 for each. These are feeling and handling, control, power, speed, and aesthetics. The D in the Tectonic 7D stands for drive. It is designed with Leaning's latest technologies that enhance both speed and power. It is 5mm shorter than the Tectonic 7 and has a longer balance point, more towards its head. It weighs in at just 81 grams and we tested it with Yonex Nanogy 98 string at 28 pounds. It's produced with the lightweight high modulus T1100G carbon fiber which offers substantial performance over the traditional carbon fibers and it has enhanced rebound speeds where the shuttlecock accelerates by up to 3.2% faster. But we're not really sure what they compare that to. So what do we think about it? Like the Tectonic 7, it feels nice through the air. It's swift and it feels very light. It has a soft feeling when contacting the shuttle and doesn't vibrate too much. Shuttle placement seemed quite easy and you could angle the light head quite quickly and you could change it mid-swing as well. And the shorter length and lightweight makes it fast in defense, driving at the front court for doubles play. But because it is five millimeters shorter in length, we did find it noticeable. It was harder to control and time the contact with the shuttle because it's shorter and we're used to longer rackets. Now, the fact that it's only 81 grams and shorter in length made it feel like power generation was a bit compromised. But that being said, actually, Henry found the lightweight racket helps generate power. Um, I didn't feel that myself, but I guess because it's light, it's easier to generate that momentum in the swing. And lastly, the simple designs and the white frame look quite good with the brown areas at the sides. They, they remind us of the, the TI-10 and TI-8 rackets where the titanium mesh was at the sides as well. For feeling and handling, we gave it an 8 out of 10. For control, we gave it an 8 out of 10 as well. A 7 out of 10 for power. An 8.5 out of 10 for speed. And for how it looks, a 7 out of 10. So that gives us a total of 38 and a half out of 50. And so who's it for? Now we think it's for a front court doubles player as it has good maneuverability of the head and technically skilled players may also like it because it allows for quick changes in direction and is light in the hand. But on the other hand, it's probably not for singles players or rear court doubles players, especially because the reach of the racket is quite limited. So it means that you might be able to not be able to reach the shuttles as easily, but you might not be able to hit smashes as steep because you can't contact the shuttle as high up in the air. If you're someone who needs a racket that moves quickly in defense or in the front court for doubles, this is the type of racket that you can consider. And if a white racket isn't quite your thing, you should check out the Volant Rogue S1, which is our sleek matte black racket. So there you have it, the Li Ning Tectonic 7D. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you've enjoyed it, found it useful, then make sure you share it with someone and you show that like button some love for the algorithm. To see the latest bracket view reviews that we release, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications so you can check out all our videos when they come out. See you next time. See ya.